Hello. Um, I was already set up for filming um, for some knitting stuff and I thought I would go ahead and take this chance to do a short little video to talk about a new thing for my Midori Traveler's notebook that I just got yesterday. Um, I realize the lighting is not the best. I'm dealing with the fact that my light is fading. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon and so I am steadily losing my light. So I'm trying to get this done before it gets um, to be too bad and I'm realizing that my autofocus is going crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off because uh, that drives me nuts um, and sometimes I don't notice it in time but this time I did so anyway Midori Traveler's Notebook um, I have been using this I have filmed before to talk about kind of the system that I use in this and I'm using something just a little bit different um, you know same sort of concept but a little bit different but I will talk about that later if if you want to see you know, sort of an updated thought on that. Um, I can talk about that later, but otherwise I will link in the description box below um, to my blog post that I wrote about my, you know, kind of how I was using Midori and I'll link to the video that I recorded for the passport size um, to talk about how I'm using um, sort of digital and analog together. And most of that is still true. Um, I've just, you know, sort of taking the, changed up a little bit about how I'm doing my journaling, but that's not the point. So let's talk about what's in here. So currently I only have one insert in here and then the new accessory that I wanted to show you guys. So the insert that I have is just um, a A5 Fabriano notebook that is cut down to be four and a third inches across. Um, and I, I've talked about that before. I love these notebooks. I really need to get a review of done of them. I just haven't gotten a chance to yet. So that is the notebook that I'm using, which I will go ahead and slide out. And then the new thing that I have is this new um, double zipper pouch. And this comes from Traveler Supply Co. And of course I will link them down below. Um, they have both a website and an Etsy shop. I got this off of the Etsy shop. Um, and, but you can get it both places. I just went with the Etsy shop because the shipping was cheaper for some reason. Um, this pocket cost me, let me look at my receipt. This was $7 and shipping was $3.50. So it came out to be $10.50 total, um, which I mean is not, it, it's like $1.50 more than one of the Midori zip pockets. And then you still have to pay for shipping on top of that with the Midori ones. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. Um, it seems to be of decently high quality. So, and the, we'll take a look at some of the features. Um, but yeah, um, so the, yeah, the shipping thing I was talking about on Etsy, it was $3.50 to get this shipped to me and on the website it would have been seven dollars so i don't know why the discrepancy but i'll link to both their website and the etsy shop in the description box so this like i said is a double zipper pouch you can see both of the zippers here um and so then on the f well so this side is meant to be the front. Um, I have it flipped upside down because I want to have these sticky notes on it, but this side is meant to be the front. And so on the front side is, um, it's the zipper pouch in the middle. So here you have the zipper pouch. And then it also has, it also has six card slots. So it has three card slots along one side and then three card slots along the other side. So you can, I realize the fact that it's clear plastic makes this a little bit tougher to see, but you can kind of, see there so three card slots on this side and then three card slots on this side and you can see i have two cards in here and then there's a card slot in the middle um i don't have a ton of cards so like this was not a, the selling point for me but i do like that i can carry like my id um and then just like my bank card with me i don't I put these cards in because I um, didn't want to have my bank card in here, but um, this is where I put them. I don't want to put them over the knot just in case, you know, the knot like busts up a card or something. But um, typically I've been having my like bank card on the top and then my ID on the bottom. So um, that's probably the only two cards I'll ever carry in here because otherwise I have like a bigger wallet that I keep like insurance cards and stuff in because I don't need those on a daily basis. Um, but if you do need to carry a, a decent amount of cards, you know, this is a good option and these are pretty generously sized slots So you could definitely fit more than one card per slot um, if you really wanted to 
And then, yeah, like I said, there's then the zipper pocket that runs all the way down the middle of those, which I just have, you can see some stickers, because um, I've been trying to give my students star stickers if they do well, because, you know, even though they're in college, they still like that. And then I just have a little bit of cash thrown in there. Um, I don't typically have cash, but when I do, you know, I like to keep it around because because then I can spend it. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. So that's what's in that side. And like I said, this side is meant to be the front. And the reason that I say that is because on this side, there is a little pen loop. So let's see, I can stick a pen in there. And obviously it's not supposed to be at the bottom. So it's supposed to be up at the top over on this side. So you can see there's my little pen in the pen loop. Um, I suppose you could also flip it out too if you prefer that. Um, I just, I knew that I wasn't gonna use it um, because I just kind of stick the pen in the little crevice here and then use the, the elastic to hold it in. So the pen loop was not a big feature for me. And I like to be able to stick sticky notes on this and I needed a flatter surface than, than what these had. So I just turned it around um, 180 degrees so that this side then became the front and this side became the back. So this other side, so it has the pen loop and then it also has two longer pockets on here. So this pocket, you can kind of see, it runs the full length. Let's see, uh, I'm trying to think of the, a good way to do this so that you can actually see it. Anyway, so this side runs the full length and then there's another one behind it that again runs the full length. So you have two decently sized pockets like that. I'm just keeping some index cards in one of them because um, I like to make grocery lists and stuff on index cards. And so to have just a couple with me is super handy. And then I've been keeping my personal to-do list stuck right here on the back of that. And then um, there is nothing on the front. So then the other, or well, I guess this would technically be the back side if you had it arranged the way they wanted it to be. But there are no pockets or anything. It's just a flat side. And then of course the zipper pocket, you know, runs all the way down the length. I just have a little um, card in there. It's just kind of a general little card that I picked up. It says just a note. And it's like, it looks kind of like a cute little index card. And so I like that because, um, you know, to keep one of those with me because, you know, I could throw it in the mail if I needed to, or I could, um, you know, leave it for someone because it's very general. Um, you know, it's, it's good for anything. So I keep that in there. And I think I have another piece of paper somewhere in here. Oh, stuck in that big pocket. Anyway, um, and then I like to keep sort of my ongoing like work to-do list stuck to the front of here. This is just, you know, junk kind of stuff that needs to get done. I just keep writing things and cross them off as I do them. So it's nothing very precise. It's just a way for me to just you know, barf onto paper all the things that I need to get done and be able to see them, you know, like, okay, what still needs to get done, what's been done, etc. So yeah, um, like I said, I really like it. A feature that I really enjoy, which you can hopefully see, is that the two zippers wind up on opposite sides when they're closed. So this is the one zipper little thing, and this is the other one on the other side, and these are both closed. So it's really nice that they don't wind up stacked right on top of each other because I could see how that would get super duper bulky um, to have those two little zipper guys stuck on top of each other. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, I've never had the full size Midori zip pocket before, um, but I have had the passport size one and it seems to be of similar quality to the passport size one. So, um, you know, I don't know where they're getting these made through. I don't know how they're getting them made, but um, I like it. And for, you know, for 1050, even if it only lasts for a little while, then I'm not gonna be heartbroken um, because it gives me the features that I wanted. Like I really, more than anything else, even if it didn't have all the card slots and all this other stuff, if it just had the two zippers, that's all that I really need um, because I just need this thing to hold, um, you know, the little bits and bobs. Like I could stick my ID card, you know, into one of the zipper pockets and that would be fine. I don't need it to be easily accessible all the time. So for me, you know, the two zippers is really what I'm interested in. Everything else is a bonus. And it is nice to have this one flat side where I can stick these sticky notes to, um, to be able to, you know, kind of have them like a, like a dashboard, I guess, to have sort of a dashboard. Um, right when I open up my notebook. But yeah, that's that. Like I said, I will link to the shop below and I will try and also link to anything else that I mentioned and said that I would link to. Um, 
and I think that's going to be it. If you have any questions, I can't think of what any questions would be, but let me know. And if you'd like, you know, to see a sort of an updated, you know, setup of this, you know, what I'm doing in this notebook here, um, let me know and I can certainly go through that at a later time. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. And thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.